Have you been feeling a little under the weather lately? It may not be because it's just cold and flu season. That's the reason why you're sick. Up next, we're talking with Dr. Thompson about some unhealthy habits we all may have year-round that could be contributing to poor health. Time now is 8.10. This is the time of year when everyone knows someone with the cold or flu. Year after year, you eat well, you take your vitamins, you wash your hands, you use the hand sanitizer, and still, every October, I'm sick. <laughs> I don't know about you. Turns out you may be making yourself sick. Dr. Sharon Thompson is joining us this morning to uncover some of the unhealthy habits that increase your exposure to virus and bacteria. Warning, mm -hmm. this may gross you out, but let's start with the breaking news. You look adorable. Tell me about this costume. <laughs> this is my Halloween outfit. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm giving a nod to a group called Blazer Fresh. They do educational videos for kids. You can find them on YouTube awesome. and they're addictive. Okay, I'm sold. <laughs> I know what we're doing after school today. Uh, so this is a little bit gross, but the truth is there are some things that we do that may be upping our exposure to bacteria. Well, the biggest one really is the simplest one. Okay. And it has to do with all the viruses that are um, going around this time of year and coughing and sneezing. Mm -hmm. You gotta wash those hands and do you probably, if you have a young one, you've seen them recently when they sneeze, they. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And and so and that actually is more hygienic than sneezing or coughing on and your then touching hands. Everything. Yes. And in fact what most people don't realize is that sneezes go pretty far. An uncovered sneeze can go up to 26 feet. 26 That's way feet? Past mm, yes. Whoa. Yeah. Look at this video. That's incredible. And it can last. Those droplets oh. can last in the air for 10 minutes. So they're, and they're living, right? Yeah, it has the viruses okay. that make us sick. Uh. So you can walk in a room where someone had an uncovered sneeze uh. 10 minutes ago. Dr. Thompson, gross. <laughs> this is your Halloween gross out. <laughs> Halloween gross. Okay. Life is grosser than Halloween. <laughs> If you're a doctor and you really have a good idea of what's out there, uh, you're yeah. grossed out constantly. Yeah. Um, one of the things that you br brought up was the lemon wedge in the old water or cocktail. That's a thumbs down. Thumbs down. So it, it's a pretty old study, so we can tell ourselves that things have changed since then. But a study swabbed those lemons mm -hmm. from, they went to restaurants and they just asked for water with lemon <laughs> and they swabbed them. 70% had bacteria and viruses that can make us sick. Uh, and if you think about a kitchen, a restaurant right. kitchen, they're busy, you know, they're yeah. trying to get your, get your food and drinks to you and they don't necessarily take the time to make sure every lemon rind is appropriately sanitized. Right. So don't drop that in your glass. If you want to squeeze it and put it to the side, that would be a better Maybe move. Maybe a better move. <laughs> or not at all. Or not at all. Just say no. <laughs> what else do you want us to change? Uh, there's a, one thing that most people don't realize. So you go to a restaurant mm -hmm. and there's a bowl of mints at the on right, the of course. Yeah. table. Well, some brilliant person did a study looking at what's in those mints. Uh oh. Male urine. <gasps> Dr. Again. Thompson! Basic hand washing isn't <laughs> happening! Guys, come your on! Your mom says wash your hands and oh. we don't do it nearly enough. Well, that's yet another reason why you never want to grab peanuts or any snacks out of bowls at a, at a bar exactly. or some sort of communal place. Exactly. Oh, and, no. and then finally, just so you'll stay in your house for medically sealed forever, <sighs> hotel rooms. Oh, no. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. So, again, enterprising scientists looked at hotel rooms and um, the remote control. Yeah, right? of course. And, and if you think about it, wipe the person down. who comes to clean your room doesn't think, oh, let me wipe mm -hmm. down the remote control, and every hand has touched it. Okay, take and those so, Lysol wipes. Take your Lysol wipes, countertops. The beds, yeah. the couches. If you can, just stay home. <laughs> that, that's her takeaway. <laughs> and also, don't take the phone into the bathroom. Don't that's take a germy it. place, well, it's just, too. again, hand washing. Okay. Hand washing. Dr. Thompson, happy Halloween to you, happy and thank Halloween, you for introducing kids, us to Blazer enjoy. Fresh. We're going to check that out oh, on YouTube, Oh, it's addictive. Kids. You'll love it. Thank Thank you. <laughs>